right, Merry Christmas everybody and for exercise of the week number 43 we thought it'd be fun to give you a little workout that you could do so we're going to take you through a real quick abdominal workout that you can do once you've opened the presents and had your hot chocolate and cinnamon rolls and whatever else you can have a little bit less guilt after you've done this abdominal workout. Okay, we're going to go with just seven exercises, so it won't take you real long to do the routine, but it'll be enough to really impact the abdominals and you'll feel the burn. So the first one we're going to do is start off with wishbone crunches. So Josh and Lauren will put their legs up in the air with their knees touching and their feet apart, and then their hands go behind the head, and they'll start doing their crunches from that position. Two key things, notice that they keep their elbows back. They're keeping their shoulder blades pinched together, so the head, the head stays back. They're not pulling forward on their neck. The height of the crunch really isn't that important. They're just contracting the abdominal wall as hard as they can. Then we go to frog crunches. So now they're going to put the soles of the feet together, let their knees fall to the sides, hands stay behind the head, and the form is exactly the same. Chin off the chest, the elbows stay back, they're looking straight up in the air, contracting the abdominal wall as hard as they can. All right, now we give the abdominals a break for a second and we go to active shoulder bridge, so feet flat on the floor, and they're just going to lift their hips up and down off the floor by squeezing the glutes as hard as they can to push the pelvis as high into the air as they can, and then they lower it all the way back down to the floor each time. Really emphasize squeezing the glutes. Try not just lift with the muscles of your lower back. And then we move to the next abdominal exercise, which is going to be hip crossover crunches. They'll place their left ankle on their right knee, let them fall to the floor to their right, and then without using their hands, they kind of force the, that left knee away from their body a little bit. So now in this twisted position, they'll emphasize using the obliques a little bit more, and they go back to the same exact form they had on the other two. As they do the crunches, they keep the chin off the chest. Again, elbows back. Now as you contract, notice that they're, they're pulling straight up into the air. They don't twist in towards the, the crossing of the hips. They just go straight into the air. And we'll show you again from the other side. Right ankle on the left knee, they'll let them fall to the left. And again, the elbows back, chin off the chest, and they just crunch straight up into the air and they lower it back down. And from here, they're going to come up onto their hands and knees. And to help neutralize the spine after twisting it, they're going to do cats and dogs. So from the hands and knees, they'll arch their back up into the air, tuck the chin to the chest, and then they drop the back down and look up in the air. Get as much motion out of your spine as you can as you're going up and down. And again, this just helps realign everything in the spine after doing the twisting motion they did in the hip crossover crunches. Then they're back onto their backs. A little bit more advanced move. This will also help to target the lower part of the abdominal wall. They're going to go with toe touches. So they'll put both their legs straight up in the air. Tighten the thighs as hard as they can, pull the toes down, and now they'll just reach up for their toes. And again, two key things is notice that the neck isn't shooting really far forward. They're still trying to look straight up in the air the whole time. And they're attempting to pull their torso up into the air, not their feet back. Their feet stay more or less in the same position the whole time. And they're just pulling with the abdominals to reach up. If you can't reach your toes, that's perfectly fine. Just come up as far as you can and then lower it back down. From here, we go to a tricep active bridge to help strengthen the glutes and the lumbar spine. So they'll sit up, fingers pointing at their heels, and from there, they lift the hips straight up into the air and lower the hips all the way back down to the floor. Trying to keep their arms as straight as they can the entire time, they just lift up and down. Okay, make sure you check out the information underneath the video. It tells you the number of sets and reps that you need to do on each exercise, as well as an additional description in case the video isn't explicit enough for you. Now, next week when we come back to start off the new year, we're going to teach you how to do some partner stretching to help increase your overall muscular range of motion.